Hi there. My name is Pam, and I'm a vehicle sales manager for an automotive dealer company. In our company, we use Anata Dynamics, IDMS, a powerful management solution which is built as an add-on to Microsoft Dynamics AX and is specifically designed to support the automotive, equipment, rental, and fleet industries. Anata Dynamics IDMS is used to cover industry-specific needs throughout the entire life cycle of a product, all within one solution. Before we look at the functionality of Anata Dynamics IDMS, I want to show you my Roll Center. I use the Roll Center as my dashboard as this gives me access to the parts of the system that I need as part of my day-to-day -day work. The queues at the top of the Roll Center give me direct access to the forms that show me what is happening in my part of the business. As an example, I see the number of devices that are on hand and how long they have been in stock. Just below the queues, the KPIs display real-time information relating to the performance of my department. The reports also help me to track what's happening in my business. Right at the bottom of the Roll Center, the Alert section highlights the most urgent tasks that I need to act on immediately. On my previous video, we saw that it is possible to schedule the preparation case for the vehicle before it is delivered to the customer. This is done from the Trade Specification Form. The default values of the case group and type ensure that any costs associated with the preparation of the vehicle are correctly accounted for. I can then schedule the work so that it is done in time for the delivery to the customer. Once I have entered the relevant values, I can go to the Create icon. And from here, I can create the PDI case. This screen shows the PDI case that has been created. Directly from the case, I am able to select the tasks that are needed to prepare the vehicle. These tasks are combined on a job list. To select a job list, I can click on the icon at the top of the form. As well as identifying the actual work that needs to be done to prepare the device, the job list also identifies the parts needed to complete the work. The hours display relate to each of the tasks of the PDI process for this specific device. These are the standard hours that it takes to carry out the necessary work. I can set up job lists for brand, class, model, or they can be generic tasks that apply to all devices. This gives me a good level of control on this aspect of my department's work. It may also be necessary to schedule the work to another resource, and I can look at the scheduling calendar to find a resource which has the capacity to carry that out. To access this calendar view, I simply click on the Schedule icon from the PDI case. The calendar will display work that has already been scheduled for the resource, which can be set up as an individual person or a team. I also make sure that the scheduler includes things such as holidays, training courses, doctor's appointments, etc. Very easily, by drawing on the calendar, the resource will then be assigned to do the work. When the work is due to start, the person carrying out the tasks will clock in to the job. They can then print off the job card, which details the tasks that need to be done on that device. Once the person has clocked in, the status of the case will change from created to in process. On my role center, these status changes enable me to see the progress on either individual cases or groups of cases, helping me to track the activity taking place in my department. Remember that the parts and accessories are identified on the job list? The system can be set up to ensure that all parts required can be brought into stock in time for the PDI case to start. On the Item Requirements form, you can see the parts identified on the job list, and it is possible for my team to raise a picking list or to deliver the items directly onto the case. Any additional parts that are needed to complete the work can also be added to the Item Requirements form. If any special work needs to be done, perhaps if the device has been damaged during the shipping process, it is possible to raise a purchase order directly from the PDI case to get the resource in to carry out this work. It is possible to hold all of the costs relating to the PDI case in one place. This gives me the ability to track another key element of my business. 
Once the work has been completed, the mechanic will clock out of the PDI case. This sets the status of the case to finished. As I mentioned before, this helps me to track the overall work that my team is doing. From the Transactions icon on the View tab of the PDI case, I am able to see any transactions that have been posted against the case. This includes hours and parts that have been consumed, as we saw on the previous screens. The Transaction record will also show any work that has been carried out by an external supplier. Any work of this type will be requested through a purchase order and will appear as a expense transaction. On the device record, it is possible to view the PDI case by navigating to the Sales tab and clicking on the Pre-Delivery Case Number. From the Statistics tab, it is also possible to view the case statistics, which summarizes the cost of all of the work carried out on the device. From here, it is also possible for me to review all of the case transactions. The statistics and transactions will build up over time as more work is carried out on the device through actions such as scheduled maintenance. And this is an example of how we use Anata Dynamics IDMS to cover our dealer management needs. You can now take a look at how other companies are using IDMS by checking the next videos. Thanks for watching.